How's our bait bag looking here? Uh, we could use one more all-purpose bait, because you're going to need a lot of bait here in order to fill your sea chart entirely. So might as well stock up whenever you can. Now is a convenient time, I guess. How many points do I have? Like five? I didn't even see. I'm pretty sure I have more than five, maybe closer to ten, but... I don't know. Oh man, I tell you, I love the Forest Haven. It's just one of those areas. Like, I don't know if I would necessarily live here like I would with Dragon Roost. But we got Boko Bobas now. Yeah. Use a grappling hook on them and you get their spoil too. You got a Boko Baba seed. You can put it in your spoils bag. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps if you can find someone to cook it up, the magic can be unleashed. The evil magic of the plant? That would be cool. Is it like when I get a mask to turn into a Deku plant? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know, just the whole atmosphere of this area. This is like, Dragon Roost is where I would live, and I would come here to like, spend a day. Just like a day trip here, maybe have a picnic or something. A picnic with my girl, you know. Even though I don't have a girl, yet. Oh, maybe in due time, you never know. Ooh. Yeah, these guys tend to drop Boko Baba seeds a lot more than like, the Boko Blinds drop their joy pendants. But still, sometimes I just like to use the grappling hook. Just because it's funny to watch their head twitch as the hook hits them. Something that's so just utterly awesome about it. Fulfilling. I don't like to use that word fulfilling too much, because that's really overused. If you watch LPs as long as I have, you find that certain words are definitely overused. I don't know, that might be the essence of a society, though, is that you share things and like, whatever. I tell you, my social class has got me playing. It's like playing mind games on me here. <laughs> I love that little sound. The little, whoa, whoa, whoa. The little like, whirring spindle sound. Alright, oh, I need to get the map fish for this place. I see him down there, too. Dude! <laughs> okay, apparently Link agrees with me. I wonder if I can get him from Beetle Shop Ship. That would be cool. Maybe if Beetle was just a little bit closer. Oh well. Oh yeah, I think I'll get that map fish while I'm here now. As I fell down. <laughs> that looks so stupid too. Uh, dude, what? I was wondering what was making that sound, then I realized it was me. There was like this like dun 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 sound that kept happening. And I was like, what the hell is that? Then I realized I was continually pressing B. Which is a trick that only works in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, as far as I know, is that you press B continually to swim faster. Not sure if I've ever, ever even pointed that out in either of those games, but whatever. Alright, what's the info today, Mr. Fishman? I love this guy's face paint, too. Well, I, I guess it's not face paint, it's actually part of his face. Get your face out of my place, Merman! Whoa, 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 Forest Haven. Nice, made up of four islands. Let's see here. Just a wee bit north of this of this island, I've been sometimes I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monster. Uh, <laughs> incredible girth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now what could he be doing living on that lonely little isle? I tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, Fry. Yeah, definitely there are. Oh, and as most of the things that these mermen say, that's going to be something else that we have to do later on. Really annoying side quest, actually. I don't know, it's, it's annoying, but it's actually kind of nostalgic, too, so... I don't really know how to feel, but I guess I like it, because I like this game as a whole, so... And most of the time, when you like something as a whole, you have to like each individual part of it, at least a little bit. Alright. I guess it's kind of good that I fell down, too, because now I actually can show this bit of a shortcut. It doesn't really cut much, it's just like, save you the trip up the hill. But you can actually, uh, grab this grappling thing from down here. And then you just need to climb your way up and you're good. Sweet. Of course, if the Octorog is still alive when you do that, which he generally will be, then he's probably gonna hit you on your way up, but he only does like a quarter hard damage anyway, so... I don't know, take your pick. What's down here? Ooh, it's a little, like, secret area. It's a secret plateau. Oh, I was talking about that with Sydney today. The plateau. Just like that word, I don't know. 
We couldn't decide if it uh, originated from the French or the English language. Like, it sounds like a French word, like plateau. It's like hard to say with a French accent, kind of, even though I have a... I've been taking French immersion all my life. I don't know. She seemed to think that it was a... That it was a French term, but... But, like, we couldn't, like, define it as a French term because the definition, or, like, the translation of plateau from French to English is, in fact, plateau. So, I don't know. Oh, if anyone has an answer to that, what, like, what plateau actually translates to in English, if there is a direct translation that's not plateau, let me know. You don't have to. It's not, like, utter life and death situation here, but... Okay, yeah, well, this is the inside of the Forest Haven. The music's not quite as good here, in my opinion, but it's still quite awesome. Jeez, look at how big this place is. The incredible girth of this place. <laughs> All the beautiful trees and the fireflies just flying in every which direction, landing on top of the water. Yeah, I'm fine with fireflies landing on the water, as long as it's not dirt landing on the water. And that sucks. Oh, there should be something over here, too. Like, in some grass patch around here, there's gonna be a really big firefly. Can you not climb that ledge, Link? You suck. But, oh, but you can climb this one with rushing water cooling over your fingers. Yeah, there's gonna be, like, a really big firefly somewhere around here. And, uh... I seem to remember it was, like, on one of these little outskirt islands around here. You know, not outset islands, outskirt islands. Maybe it's in this one grass patch. Yeah, there it is. You can see that really bright and big firefly. You're actually going to want to get your bottle, which is why it's good to have a second bottle. And then, you got the forest firefly in your bottle. A strange light emanates from the mystical creature. This can be very useful for something later on, especially for those Nintendo Gallery fanatics out there. Whoa! He's so big and so tall and what? Oh no! Someone break out the proactive! We got a bad case of zits here. We've got green shoes on top of red shoes. And red shoes on top of blue shoes. No, there's no blue shoes on this guy, unfortunately. Alright. You can use the grappling hook on all these guys and get their chew jelly if you want. In fact, I'm gonna do that on the green ones at least, just because I need to show the green chew jelly, just to be sure. Oh, inside green chew shoes is a magical gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in its current form. Yup. It's different from the magical gelatinous essence of the red choo choos. They serve an entirely different purpose, but well, not entirely different, but different enough. I'll stock up in a few of these, I guess. What? Uh, what? They disappeared. Oh man! Yeah, if you take too long doing this, they'll actually like respawn back up there. But they won't actually generate any more choos, so you don't have to worry about that. A little trick, you can actually hit them with a grappling hook and uh, force them out of that, like, ground-born state, like this little puddle state here. And then if you're fast enough, you can actually hit them. Plus, you get the chew, chew jelly from them when you do that. So that's very good, too. Jeez, 34 minutes. How am I going to split this at all? Oh, my xylem is flowing beautifully today. What? I'm a shaman, ha, oh, my eyes have no pupils. <laughs> I was gonna try to think of some crazy dialogue like I did for Valu, but I thought that would be stupid if I did for this guy. I must apologize, I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly felt a longing for an age gone by. That long caused an ancient tongue to pass my lips. I'm the guardian spirit of the forest haven, the Deku Tree. You've got a lot of a fatter chin than the other Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, that led you to this place? Yup, that kingly red lion guy. Oh, bollocks. So it is true. Then you've come here because you have need of the pearl of the goddess. Yes, please. I see. I knew there was a, there was a reason monster had begun to congregate around the regions in my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. Ganondork. In that case, we must make haste. Get him, Pork. Get him, Pork. Ah, oh, Koroks, little children of the woods. This traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Whoa! It's Little Tree, guys. Oh, my goodness. 
They remind me of me from Majora's Mask, the very beginning of Majora's Mask, the little Dekus. They're adorable. They've even got this little propeller thing. What do you call yourself? Argon? Well then, Argon, these are Koroks, spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms, but then they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Yes, that leads people to believe that these are actually the Kokiri reborn as little trees. Now they fear people, but to me, they will, all, they will ever... They will ever be my cherished little children. You cherished little wood. As it happens, you may have, you may have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold about once every but once a, every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? And now for a dramatic twist. We are not a great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. It's the Makar. Makar! Was it in the shop? What's the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. N no, it's not that, oh great Deku tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What were you doing driving over Forbidden Woods, dude? Jeez. I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Why, yada yeah, yada. Argon, have you heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods are full of assholes, and douches, and evil little f fucks. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions just likely, likely expects great deeds of you, is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go, not, can you go rescue Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air! Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Dude, nothing's impossible, I tell you. We've pulled off the impossible many a time in this game. Argon, I would guess from your or from in this series, I mean. Argon, I would guess from your size that you were heavier than my Korok children, yet I think we may be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you to fly through the sky! Whoa! <laughs> Why are you all pissed all of a sudden? No! Oh, man! He just shoved that leaf out of his shoulder like it was... Like it was a tough turd. A tough turbo turd. Forgive me, Argon, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? You want me to get the leaf from on your shoulder? I don't know. I know there's some kind of innuendo in there, but I can't be bothered to think of it. Hello. The Forbidden Woods were once our home. They were peaceful back then. I didn't even know that, jeez. I would guess that our home should still exist somewhere deep within the woods. If you have trouble anywhere in the forest, just look for the stump-shaped houses. Is that actually- Dude, I've never actually known that. That's cool. You learn something about things every day. Do you know about this flower? It's called a Baba Bud. You can just stand in front of it and tilt the controls stick towards it to jump into it. Baba Buds have a peculiar habit of shooting you up in the air after you jump in them. Probably because they don't taste very good. You ever thought of that? You and your rancid, sweaty ass. Swamp ass. Any little Koroks around here to talk to? I'm pretty sure there are. Dude, this guy just came from the sky! Holy crap. I think there's another forest firefly over there. If you want it. I don't know why you would. We Koroks can fly through the sky using our own Dekulies. We Koroks are very light. Looks like you weigh a lot more than we do. You, do you think you'll be alright? Ah, uh, sure, Jigsaw. Yep. I think I'll be alright, dude. What the hell? It's a little geyser. Cool. Well, you know what? I think on that, I'm actually going to end this off here. Because I think I've had a long enough time recording and my throat is drying up like a sour prune. And... I honestly just don't feel like... I was thinking I might be able to do the dungeon in this recording, but... Now that I'm here, I actually really don't want to, because that place is going to be so annoying, but... We'll have to deal with it next time. So, until then, uh, I hope you all enjoy your time. Uh, don't stand in geysers like Link does, or else you might get scalded. Scalded is something fierce. Whatever, though. So thanks everyone for watching, thank you oh so much. And this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.